might be overcome with the, the flavor of the peppers. Uh, I mean, if, with the, the, the burn of the heat and the flavor of the peppers, actually. But uh, some of that might be lost in there. But, but the important thing is the pepper is just hanging in there. Yeah, I mean the the rating scale on the side is like a good, I would say like a good call. I mean, good indicator. It's, yeah. it's not overly aggressively hot. It got a nice bite to it. Yeah. I mean, compared to most that always have like, oh, this is hot, and you try it and it's like mustard. You know, yeah. You like put it on a hot dog or something. You know. I'm thinking like, though that's a good flavor. Yeah. In in retrospect, uh, the uh, aside from the green goose sauce, which I believe had some extract in it. Yeah, remember yeah. that sauce There's a couple definitely. shells back. Uh, this is possibly the hottest natural, natural yeah, jalapeno yeah. sauce that we've had on the show. Uh, yeah, I would like to kind of research some of the two peppers to see. Yeah, to see if they might be the, if, if they're more of like an earthy, peppery flavor, or if they help add in the heat. Yeah, or, if they're the heat providers. Yeah, for the yeah. Sauce. yeah, that's because that, that could have boosted it up. Right? Yeah, I mean, we know the jalapeno. Usually, the first listed ingredient is the majority pepper, mm -hmm. and the jalapenos not not taken away from them. They can yeah. have some heat themselves. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, perhaps some of these other peppers. Uh, uh, count a little bit more for the heat, and they have those in here in a lesser quantity. Yeah. So, uh, hey, very good. Three chilies, guys. Uh, I'll show you that one more time. Put that in front of the camera for you. Yeah, you can see too. Uh, you can see too. We got some seeds in there, Jay. Uh, we got some other particles. Perhaps those are pieces of those other peppers. peppers. Yeah, because yeah, they're red amidst the green, the general green consensus of the sauce. And uh, yeah, looking really good, guys. Really. Thick, really creamy, and uh, hey, everything I'm looking for in a jalapeno sauce. I like this one, Jay. It's a thumbs up. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It is. It is a really good sauce. Uh, got it. Got a nice. Got a nice rolling heat. My my lips still have like a nice, nice tingle. Yeah, to a little them. sting going. It's actually almost full pattern too. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Hey, it's a good sign of a good hot sauce. Definitely, yeah. So, uh, all right, hey, do you have any more words you want to say before we take our break uh, on three chilies? That's good sauce so far, yeah. It's, yeah, it's so, really good. All right, so hey, we'll be back and uh, uh, we'll find out where we are with the flavor, with the burn. And of course, Jay's going to give you some recipe suggestions from the chef's handbook. <laughs> so hey, we'll be back. All right, welcome back to the panel, the Jalapeno Show once again, bringing you Mexico's own three chilies from Zaschila, the green version, the jalapeno version, also with Caribe and Japones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, hey guys, I didn't give you the uh, website for uh, Zas Chila. So they have a whole lineup of sauces, all kinds of peppers going on with these guys, all kinds of sauces. Uh, I'll give it to you. It's www.zaschila.com. doesn't get any simpler than that one. So hey, be, feel free to uh, get online and check out their uh, whole lineup of sauces because me and Jay are really enjoying three chilies today here on good, the panel yes. and uh, uh, so what do you have going on right now Jay? Uh, right now I just I got a little subtle burn on my lips and around my tongue and then not really the back of my throat more like my my, my chest and in my stomach has, area yeah the esophagus has, has a nice warm feeling and whatnot. Uh, it's not like an overpowering feeling it's just you know uh -huh. you you know you just ate something warm you can feel it and it, it it's it's a very nice sauce. It it went down smooth and had a good bite to it. Like just just enough, you know. Yeah. It was just perfect. All right. Yeah. For myself, got warmth left in my mouth right now. Kind of kind of have like lingering garlicky notes going on. Um, kind of still have a mild tanginess going on in my mouth as well. Uh, I agree that this guy here is a uh, very flavorful. Uh, I thought Jay the heat was pretty good on this one to be honest. I, I, I didn't think it was it was minimal in any way. I really think that the hot designation is pretty fair. Mm -hmm. It wasn't killer heat, but it was definitely hot. Uh, the warmth stand with me too, so we got have kind of like a long lasting kind of uh, I guess you could say burn or warmth. Nice uh, rolling, like you're just Yeah, it just kinda hangs in there, doesn't want to leave. Uh, yeah, this guy here might not be a jalapeno sauce for faint-hearted. Uh, it's, it's a little bit on the hot side. So, uh, hey, but uh, two, uh, two old veterans like oh, us, yeah, yeah. you know, we, uh, we uh, can really appreciate this type of thing. But uh, for those 
who are looking for something milder, you can definitely find milder jalapeno sauces than this one. Uh, but hey, I don't know about more flavorful. Yeah, All right, yeah. so Jay, uh, as, as is the norm, we know we have our, our food hieroglyphs here as brought out by Jay. Uh, now, after tasting this one, uh, can you give them some recommendations of what kind of food that this would go perfect with? Um, I think it would go perfect with basically any food. I mean, I, I would say if, if you uh, enjoy hot sauce on wings, that would be a good sauce. Or sandwiches, steaks, uh, you could use it on uh, uh, Mexican dishes. I mean, it is a Mexican sauce, so I mean, you can make a Mexican dish, or you can just do a plain old American or Italian one and spice it up with a little uh, jalapeno sauce. Um, it, is, uh, it is a really good sauce. I mean, it'd probably even be good added to a soup or a chili, like if you like a little kick to your, uh, your soup or your chili, um, that would definitely give it a little heat. Yeah, I could even see this this going good with uh, with a staple white chili. Oh yeah, yeah, and definitely. Even, yeah. even more so than a traditional red. Oh yeah. So yeah, I definitely I'm, I'm following you on that with like maybe a chicken based yeah. white chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So uh, there you have it from the chef, and uh, there you have it for today's episode of the Jalapeno Show. Jay, you want to add anything before we head out here today? Yeah, definitely. Check check out that sauce. It's a really good sauce. Yeah, uh, probably, I, I, probably first, maybe second place on the jalapeno. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 a, it's definitely ranking. Put it that way. Yeah, so uh, I'd have to go through all and flip, flash all the sauces we've done, but this one is definitely ranking because I really enjoyed it. So all right, hey. So goodbye today from the jalapeno show. Return to the Lord your God. Say your prayers. Read your Bibles, and we will see you next time. <laughs>